t-test for two independent samples. So in using the t-test for two uh, independent samples, uh, the assumptions must be met first. What are these assumptions? First, the values must be taken from two independent populations. And then the uh, shape of the distribution of the two population must be at least normal. And then the uh, samples must be taken randomly from two independent samples. Now let's consider this problem. Determine if there is a significant difference in the mean weight of the respondents when they are grouped according to sex. Use 0 0.05 level of significance. Now, if we look at the data, in the first column, these are the values under sex, for which the values are uh, encoded using number codes. Now, for 0, it represents the uh, sex of male respondents, while 1 uh, refers to female respondent. Now, we, have, we are going to have two groups here, the group of uh, male respondents and the group of female respondents. So we're going to uh, label the uh, weights of uh, male respondents as uh, X1 and then the uh, weights of female respondents are X2. So we, again, we will consider this or the test that we are going to use is two-tailed test. Since again, the problem does not indicate whether the uh, mean weight of uh, female respondents are uh, greater than uh, male respondents or the other way around. Thus, we state the null hypothesis as there is no significant difference in the mean weight between male and female respondents. Or in symbol, we have population mean weight equals population mean weight 2. Or... Uh, the uh, population mean weight of uh, male respondents is equal to the population mean weight of female respondents. While the alternative hypothesis is stated as there is a significant difference in the mean weight between male and female respondents. And in uh, symbol, we have this, mu1 is not equal to mu2. So we start. First is, since uh, the uh, weight of uh, female respondents is not separated from the uh, weight of male respondents, then we have to unstack the data first. So again, we uh, go to ph dot, but uh, click data preparation, then unstack the data. In the uh, grouping variable cell range, we highlight sex since again we are going to uh, group our values into uh, female weights and uh, male weights. Then for uh, the uh, stock data cell range, we are going to highlight the weight column. Then we check this box since we included the labels. Then we click OK. Now recall that the uh, symbol 0 represents male respondents and the symbol 1 for sex represents female respondents. So we change this so we have now these uh, values where the first column are the weights of uh, the male respondents and the second column are the weights of the female respondents now uh, since the value are now stacked into male and female we are now ready to run the t-test for independent samples so we choose two sample tests and summarize data and then pooled variant t-test. This is on the assumption that uh, the standard deviation of the uh, two groups are equal. Okay, so uh, we have 
equal variant t test. The hypothesized difference is set to zero. The level of significance is 0 0.05 as stated in the problem. And then we highlight for a population one sample cell range, we highlight the uh, male column or the weights of uh, all uh, male respondents. And then for population two sample cell range, we will highlight the uh, weights of all female respondents. Then we check this box and then choose two tail tests. Now we have uh, population sample one or population one sample and population two sample. Now we can change this to uh, male respondents since we set uh, the first group as the weight of uh, the male respondents and we can change this to we can change the label to female okay so the result tells us that there are 21 male respondents and there are 35 female respondents then the uh, sample mean is uh for male respondents is uh, 53.57 while the uh, sample mean for uh, female respondents is 51.31 the sample standard deviation for male is 8.86 for female is 13.25 the result of the test now if you're going to compare the uh, sample standard deviation uh, the sample standard deviation for male is 8.85 and the sample standard deviation for female is 13.25 which is safe to assume that the uh, standard deviation or the population standard deviation for these two independent groups are equal now the rule of thumb is we use the t-test for independent samples uh, with unequal variances if the uh, sample standard deviation of one group is uh, twice as large as the standard deviation of the other group but in this case here since again uh, the sample standard deviation for the female group is not twice as large as the sample standard deviation of the male group then we can assume that uh, the two um, groups from two independent uh, the two independent uh, populations have the same uh, standard deviation so the t-test value is equal to 0.69 or 0.6919 while the two critical values are negative 2.0049 and positive 2.0049. Now it shows that the uh, test value falls in the non-critical region because this is less than the uh, right critical value or upper critical value which is 2.0049. So when the test value is in the non-critical region, the decision is do not reject the null hypothesis. And using the p-value method, this is the p-value method which is equal to 0.4920. Compare this to 0 0.05 which is uh, greater again than 0 0.05. So when the p-value is greater than uh, 0 0.05, the decision is to do not reject the null hypothesis. So what is our conclusion for this problem now the conclusion since uh, the test failed to reject the null hypothesis the conclusion is that okay, there is no um, significant difference in the mean weight of the respondents when they are grouped according to sex so again there is no significant difference since the test failed to reject the null hypothesis okay so that's it